In this video, we will continue the routing for the cables and we are going to route the wires for those connectors here. So I created here on this thermal retractable boot a sketch and the sketch has eight circles, four millimeter diameter. And now let's start to route those wires first. In the same multi-branchable document, we are going to create new wires. So the tricky part here is to organize them well here so they do not intersect and clash with each other. Let's start for with this one. Try to route it here. So it seems like a good idea here is to use a 90 degrees thermal retractable boot so we can keep the boot right here in front of the connectors. So we can see the cables they do not crash one with each other, which is very good. And another idea here would be to have 90 degrees boot for all those connectors. So, so all of them will be slightly inclined at 45 degrees and all the cables will arrive here in this area. But that's just another idea, so we can uh, try that one later and see how it looks and usually if you work in a racing company you want to make both of them so you want to add 90 degrees boots and make another multi-branchable document where you'll make that version because after that you would want to sit down with the team or with the team leader and show him and also discuss what's the best solution and uh, what's going to be the final solution. Now let's quickly add some slack to those cables. This should also be okay. I only want to change the support for this sketch. From that boot to this boot. Let's click OK. And the main cable is going to have around 14 millimeters diameter. And we are going to do the same thing. Just imagine where we will have some supports for the cable ties. The same one here. One here, one here, and one right before this box. Let's add the point. Okay. 
here we have it and in the next video we are going to continue adding wires from these sensors to this box see you in the next video